Hi, this is Glenn Fleischman for Tidbits. I'm going to show you how in Audio Hijack 3 you can set up a live stream recording. You can start with a URL where you can get, for instance, from iTunes by going to Internet Radio, selecting a stream, doing Command I, and then selecting Copy Path by right clicking on the URL. Here's a model feed set up already inside of Audio Hijack 3, and you can see you paste the URL into the Safari field. And then when you click record, it will launch Safari and open that URL. Now back in the app, you can see it's recording. You can see all the activity going on. If I click stop, that recording is now saved. I'll just use that to test that the feed works, which is good when you set it up to make sure everything's correct. In the schedule tab, I can click add timer and then choose what interval or other details I want. In this case, I want to record every Friday and I have to think about GMT because I'm in Pacific time. So 2 p.m., so I'll record at 10 p.m. I click quit sources when done so that it doesn't continue to play back indefinitely. I can also choose a specific date to record on. Back in the app, you can see that if I bring up the sessions tab, I've already named this previously. I'm going to go back and rename it. I click on the name and then I can type in a more specific description because it's got a URL attached. It's not just a generic BBC Radio 4 recording. So I set the News Quiz Fridays. Now I could make that more generic if I just could do more. In the Recordings tab, you can see all the recordings associated and back in schedule, you can see where it's at. And that's how it works. This is Glenn Fleischman for Tidbits.